Where is the money going? That's the question from military families we talked to today over an increase they're supposed to see in their basic housing allowance. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Carlo Cicchetto. Marcel is off tonight. The Basic Housing Alliance, or BAH, was intended to alleviate some of the money problems those military families are facing. But as CBS 8's Kirsten Holmes found out, some of them say they won't see a dime. Yeah, some of the families I talked to today say they are missing out on as much as 900 to more than $4,000 a month. We're live here in Tierra Santa outside of a military housing community, and we are working for you on this story. Some of the families we talked to today say that they have been hearing about more money and better housing conditions for years, and they haven't seen either. And they spoke to us anonymously, so you won't see their faces or their names, but we want you to listen to what they had to say. Where's the money going? Where is all this extra money, this $900 a month that they're getting? For my husband, they're getting over $4,200 a month. That's the question from several military spouses and members today after the U.S. government increased service members' basic housing allowance. Meanwhile, the families I talked to today say they live in squalor. It would help families to get extra money, and um, Liberty has decided that they want to keep that money, but they don't want to put anything into the community. Complaints range from mold issues, which CBS 8 covered back in 2019, and this group gathered today says mold is still a problem. There's also maintenance requests that go unanswered and a lack of security. They're nowhere to be found, and constantly we're dealing with homeless rummaging through our trash, packages getting stolen, um, people's garages and cars getting broken into. It's frustrating because most of the time spouses are alone, and we're fearing for our life in a sense because you got to keep your guard up to make sure nothing is happening, just constantly checking your doors. We're working for you on this story, so I reached out to Liberty Housing, who says for every dollar they're getting based on military families, 19 cents goes towards debt. 45 cents goes toward operating expenses to maintain the communities. 28 cents goes to things like roofs and HVAC for housing. And eight cents goes to fees and equity return. The families I talked to today say they feel like they're being taken advantage of. And they claim they're going to take it and use it for renovations and all this stuff, but we've heard that for years. We're still having mold issues. We're still having people getting sick, still having people being relocated for mold and sickness, and they have kids. We all have kids. Liberty Military Housing sent us a full statement of how that money is being broken down. It's available for you on our website, CBS8.com. I spoke with the president of Liberty Military Housing, who says they want to hear about all of those service requests. How you can fill out that maintenance form is also on our website, CBS8.com. Reporting live in Tierra Santa, I'm Kirsten Holmes. Back to you. Thanks, Kirsten.